a little bit about the uh, trading post. Just some mounts were revealed. That's This is the last piece of the news we're going to talk about here that I'm going to post up group. Yes, some mounts were revealed. Um, check this stuff out, guys. These are trading post mounts. Now, remember, the trading post is the is the monthly thing where mounts, you know, will come and go, and you'll be able to get... This is some cool shit, man. This is some cool shit. So we got this ray. What is this again? The Coral Stalker Wave Ray. Yes, very cool. Another mount. Here we go again. If you haven't got a crab mount either, here is another trading post mount. We got another crab mount with a little pile of sand and the treasure box on top. I love these things. The way they walk sideways and stuff, I think they're very cool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, crab mounts run sideways. If you haven't seen them in the game yet, mount up or anything, they're hilarious. They, they just run sideways. Need it. Yeah. Yeah, so all this stuff is very cool. Um, here is the last mount that I think has been data mined. Yes. Yes, if you love those Pandaria mounts, which I do too, uh, you get the Magenta Cloud Serpent was another one that has been data mined on the PTR and it was obtainable through the new trading post. Uh, these mount skins are great. It's still loading. Jeez, why? Load up. Oh, it doesn't want to load. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just click on the image then. Yeah, the Magenta Cloud Serpent. This thing looks real sexy. I mean, who doesn't love a good Cloud Serpent mount? And I think if you're like a priest or a warlock or something, this is like a nice get, this color right here. So uh, this is another trading post item that will be available. Remember, the trading post, you will get 500 coins just for logging in. And you will get another 500 coins for doing some of the side quests. So you can get 1,000 per week. Now we saw uh, the Celestial Steed was going to be available. That was going to be 9,999 coins. So you'd blow all your coins, basically, on that if you got it in the first week. Demon Hunter Mount, too. Yeah, that could be a nice Demon Hunter Mount. Um, so if you're interested in that stuff, just log in, get your 500, and then do some of the side quest stuff that they put out there. Another thing that's been data mined a lot lately is um, some more transmog and stuff. We see new chainmail armor sets. Um, evidently, this has some shoulders that go with it, but we haven't seen it yet. But I like this. Kind of the way that the shirt extends down more. We haven't seen a lot of this in WoW. Yet, so this is kind of a new uh, a new look here, but I I really like where they're going with some of this new transmogable stuff. It seems like they're really embracing transmog, and it seems like a really cool uh, some new cool stuff that's coming our way. We've seen even gray item transmogs coming into the game, which is nice again for just kind of role play and and you know of course of course it's going to be great for a gold shire uh, on Moonguard. You know everything transmogable is great for gold for Moonshire gold on uh, gold shire. On Moonguard, yeah. Spe Spectral Tiger reskin armor with the Warden. Yes, we we saw that the other day. You're talking about the Sun and Moon um, Spectral Tigers. Those look amazing. And those will also be available on the trading post, yes. White and gray transmogs coming in. Yeah, yep. It's, it's great stuff. I love to see good transmog stuff coming into the game. And again, this is all stuff that's like not necessary, not player power progression related. This is just fun stuff that you can go get on your free time if you decide, you know, you, know, you just want to get in and play a little bit, right? You just want to get in and play a little bit. So it's fun to watch this stuff, and uh, and I like to see non-player progression related items in the game because it just adds adventure to the world. Uh, last piece of news here. The 2023 WoW Community Council is now open. Uh, they are accepting applications. If you want to be part of the Community Council, please fill out and submit the application here by noon on January 3rd. Um, I think I, I did try last time. I didn't get in. I only interacted with the Community Council once. It was on my forum post talking about being uh, you know, silenced because of certain group postings. I interacted with a community council member there. It was fine. I mean, I don't think I care that much about being part of the, about the council, but we'll see. <laughs> Is this the chainmail bikini? I did see this. I did see this. Speaking of mogs, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Back to uh, what we were talking about. Yeah, so the community council, you know, it is what it is. If you want to join it, you can join it. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of transmog, yeah, there's this one too. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Who doesn't want the chainmail bra? Check it out in different colors too. This thing is sexy. Sexy, let me tell you. So yeah, again, transmogable stuff in-game. The chainmail bra is finally here. That's it. I think we can say that Dragonflight was a resounding success. I think we can say it now. You know, we've been waiting. We've been cautious. We've been saying, what about the end game? We got to see how the end game goes in Dragonflight. 
I think we can just call it. Call it what it is right now. It looks great. It looks great. I think, personally, this means Dragonflight was a resounding success. Not only do we get Chainmail Bra, we get Chainmail Bra in multiple colors. Yeah, we just need the Boob Slider, exactly. Chainmail Bra plus Boob, sli boob Slider, and that's it. We've reached a completely new level of... This is the Metzen effect, I think. That's what this is. Metzen came in and his first order of business was implementing Chainmail Bra. So I think we're ready to go here. And butt sliders, yeah. You gotta show you gotta show love for the T and the A. That's true. 